you know what came to my mind um pat's two cents is i was listening i, I was listening to the video that I, i'm getting ready to upload and the part where it says i gotta read it this this is what got to me verse 16 this first corinthians 6 verse 16 what Know ye not that he which is joined to an harlot is one body? For two, he saith, shall be one flesh. Now, that one flesh is a, is a holy union between husband and wife. But listen to this. Jesus also said this, and this is what came to my mind. Jesus said, to look on a woman to lust after her is adultery just to look at it to to lust to long for that that's not your wife is adultery so when you're sitting at the computer or you've got a magazine in your hand and you're flipping pages and you're looking with one hand while you're playing with the other. I'm not going to just explain what I just said. You got what I'm talking about. You are committing adultery. Even though there's not another woman in the room, you're committing adultery. And listen to this. When you spend your life you spend years and years and years, day in, day out, morning, noon, and night, working that all day long. Everything that you were put on this planet to be, everything you were put here to do, gets shoved aside. Basically, it, it becomes null and void because you are so busy in la-la land that you're no earthly good for anybody. You're counterproductive. You're non-productive. You're in limbo. You're paralyzed. You are, you are wasting yourself away. And you are shooting. I mean, your whole goal in life is to go from one nut to the next nut to the next nut. Oh, but let me get this nut. And oh, let me see if I can get nut. Oh, oh, let me see how good I can. Oh, oh, oh. And that's all you are. I won't say what I was thinking. I'll be nice. Because I'm about to crack up and I don't want to make fun of this. My point is, my point is, I'm really trying to maintain my cool right now because I have a very crazy sense of humor. Listen, my point is, it's not funny, so I don't want to make fun of it. You end up losing. You lose family. You lose out on time with your children. You miss out on your jobs. You know why? Because you get so caught up in what you're doing. You end up being late for work. You miss appointments. You just, I mean, you just, it's like a person getting strung out on drugs. Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah, I was supposed to do that. But I gotta get, uh, wait, wait, wait. I got to get this nut. Got to get this nut. Just give me a minute. Got to get this nut. And hours have gone, days, years have gone by, and, and you're chasing these little stupid momentary split-second pleasures while you're losing out on all the pleasure God has for your life. You're losing out on fulfillment. You're losing out on the meaning of living. It's really sad, too, because most people that get caught up in that end up hating themselves because they can't seem to move beyond that. They get ready to move and open the door, and then something pulls at their senses, and they're like, oh, got to have it.
it again. You lose out. The main one that loses is you. You lose out on God. You lose out on your family. You lose out on your on your destiny, on your dreams, goals, aspirations. They all get flushed down the toilet because 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 you're caught up in the net. I don't care if it's with your hand or with another body. The bottom line is that's all you're about. Don't you know nothing from nothing leaves nothing 